Okay, I don't know. I'll let anybody else in that comes in, but we'll get started. Good morning to you. Everything going okay? Your class is going all right? Or at least the best they can be? Yeah, it is, right? It is what it is. So we'll cover four things today. Two of them will be review what we did uh, from Monday, since I haven't seen you on Monday. And then we'll have two new things today. As I said, this first week, we wanna just make sure that we have the logistics down, that you're able to access everything uh, so that you're gonna be able to uh, flourish here in terms of what we're gonna do distance learning for this semester. Hopefully we'll be back spring semester. And then uh, it won't be next week until we get into the curriculum. Um, there'll be a couple of presentations that I'm gonna go over and I'll show you. Uh, all you need to do is watch the first time through and then we'll go step by step together on how to do uh, those uh, activities that we'll have. And it's just to make sure that you can access uh, things well. And then once uh, that happens, if you finish that, um, you won't have anything to do until we meet next Thursday. So if we can get through those uh, two new things today, you guys will be set. Remember that Mondays are uh, office hours. And so Monday, uh, office hours for period six is 140 to 220. And that is not required. If you have questions about uh, anything going on in this class or any questions about anything uh, related to the school, I know that I've had uh, four or five students over the last uh, two days that have had trouble getting hold of uh, specific teachers. So even if it's a question about uh, another class, you're having trouble getting a hold of somebody or communicating in that way, uh, let me know and I can help you with that and get you set up on that. All right, any questions there? Okay, so real quick, I'm gonna share my screen with you and we'll go over what we discussed on Monday. minimize that so you can see. Okay, so Monday we made sure that you were able to do two things and that was the assignment that you turned in. Um, if for some reason you didn't turn in the assignment through Canvas that we did uh, on Monday, you have until tomorrow at 3.15 to do that. So we should be okay in terms of that. So when you look at the Rigetti uh, website, the first one in the upper right here is this Canvas page. So there were two things we went over. We wanted you to be able to see Canvas, and we wanted you to be able to access your school email. So from the Canvas page, you may have to log in. One of your classes that should be showing, like if I go to my dashboard here, should be World History. So you're going to have a box that looks like this. Uh, for this period six there. Let me go to the student view. So a couple of things that you may have noticed. Um, I sent out an announcement the other day, uh, early in the morning, about week number one, basically this first week of school. So one of the things that you wanna be aware of is that when you're looking through your Canvas courses, these are gonna be things that you need to do. So week one is going to be basically, right, making sure that you can access this Canvas course or this course through Canvas and then making sure that you have access to your school email. And then also we're gonna go over, these are gonna be the two new things today, Edmentum and GoFormative, all right? Edmentum and GoFormative. So in class, we went over this homepage and we talked about the Zoom meeting links in the YouTube channel, right? So the YouTube channel, remember, is gonna have videos posted from every class day. So if you scroll through here, right, you can see here, this was sent out before school started about the first day of school. Then we've got my econ classes, periods one, two, and three that met, right? And then we had from the first day, period four and period six from Monday. And then yesterday, here's the econ video from uh, Tuesday, world history video from Tuesday, econ from yesterday, and then I'll add uh, world history as well for the 19th, 
right, for the 19th. Hold on, we just had somebody else come in. So that was basically, right, Zoom, YouTube, and announcements that we went over. We went over those three icons there. Uh, Zoom meeting link is gonna be the same all the way through the end of September. The Monday office hours, uh, you will click on that same Zoom link if you have a question for me or need help with any of the work uh, that you had to do outside of our class meeting via Zoom. Uh, those won't be recorded. So uh, just want you to be able to come in, not have to worry about uh, that. As I said today, we are going to look at these three icons and that will be new. We've got a question in the chat room. Sorry, I was late, no problem. That's okay. Sometimes it's gonna take a while to get in. So do not uh, worry about that. Um, announcements, as I said, are gonna be the same as what we have. Now you should get an email notification via your school email as well in terms of that. So we will cover, all right, go formative today, the modules link today, and this Edmentum login today. So we should be set uh, on the rest of our homepage and we'll be able to get through. This Canvas and school email uh, assignment is what you were to do on Monday. You have until 315, uh, basically tomorrow to turn that in. So you need to answer both of those questions. Are you able to see assignments in Canvas? Are you able to access the email? And then remember email can be accessed one of two ways. You can go here to Microsoft Office 365 and click on that. If it asks you to log in, like it is here for me, you're gonna sign with your SMJ UHSD account and you're gonna click on Outlook. That'll bring up your email, all right? The second way, just like in Canvas, there's a number of different ways to navigate that, is school website, left-hand side, go down to staff and student email, once again, it'll ask you probably to log in, and then you'll select Outlook, right? Those are the two things uh, that we took a look at on Monday. And as I said, we'll cover these three things today, uh, Go Formative and Edmentum Login, and then also Learning Modules. So all of you should have your Canvas page open, and I want you to go ahead and click on Learning Modules right here right where it says assignments and learning modules. We'll go over that with you real quick. Okay, so from that, what I want you to see is a couple of different things. So to keep things consistent, especially since uh, this is gonna be kind of new for everybody uh, this semester, is on those modules, on those modules, we went over this on Monday, but you have Canvas overview and resources if you need help. We went over the class journey, class overview. Um, there's the class question board. If right? You don't need these resources anymore. You can collapse this and make it easier to see, right? It just adds more room, right? But everything is going to flow down. So week one, what I'm going to do is create a module for each uh, week. So week one is going to have a module. Week two is going to have a module. And then it'll have a basically page that goes over everything that we're going to do. So week one online logins Right? How do we access the needed online resources and programs for the class? We went over Canvas and the school email on Monday. Today we're going to go over uh, GoFormative and Edmentum, right? And then basically it says down at the bottom, by the end of the week, these are the things that you're going to need to be able to um, do, understand, or comprehend, right? Canvas, the GoFormative uh, resource, the YouTube channel for the class where you can find videos if you want to review or if you miss a day, and then Edmentum, 
right? So that's what these things are going to be doing. So when we do modules, they're gonna be put into a week so that you can see everything that you need to do. Once you're through that module, you're done for the week, right? When we do the assignments down here at the bottom where you see individual assignments, the logins, that's gonna be for Edmentum and Go Formative that we're gonna go over right now. Once you've completed that and sent that, everything in module one, week one, is gonna be completed. So you're gonna be done until we meet next Thursday, right? So you'll be ahead of the curve. With your Canvas page open to those modules, I want you to go ahead and click on this one that says Presentation Go Formative and open that up. Uh, as with the things and resources from Monday, I will embed these things and let you open them uh, online, okay? So a couple of things here that's gonna happen. Um, we're going to uh, set you up with a GoFormative account. Um, if you have one that you set up last year as a freshman for some of your classes, as long as you use the school email, your six digit school email, right, at students-smjuhst.org, you can keep that GoFormative. If you did not set it up with your school email, you're gonna need to create a new account. You're gonna to have to follow those steps directly or the work that you do is not gonna transfer automatically to your Canvas Aries gradebook. So you wanna make sure that you follow through exactly what we'll do and then I'll check each one of you as you come in and do that. The second thing is I'm gonna go through the entire process, so just watch. You do not have to keep up. I will then come back and we will go step by step through the process. I have to give you a join code for the world history class. Once you have the join code, uh, join code you're gonna see two uh, different things this week. One is gonna be an example of a resource that I can put up and that you can look at, such as notes, vocabulary. In this case, I think I did vocabulary. And then there's gonna be a short little quiz and basically the quiz is gonna say, can you see the vocabulary and can you open this quiz? So you'll select yes, which is the correct answer. And then you'll submit that right? And that's how you would submit an assignment through Go Formative. So I'm going to go through the entire process. All you have to do is watch, and then we'll go step by step together to do that, and then wait for you to make sure that you can see the vocab and that you can submit the assignment, and we'll be halfway done uh, and finished with what we have. So any questions so far on that? All right, should be easy. You guys are superstars. All right, so uh, Go Formative is just going to be a resource and a location where I can put up notes, vocabulary, uh, reviews, give short quizzes, give short assignments. You can submit those electronically and um, use that and come back to that a number of times. So as I said, um, it is going to be a specific process. You're going to go to an internet browser and you're going to type in goformative.com and you're going to click on this blue button that says sign up. Once you hit that blue button, you're gonna get a choice. Teacher, student, you're gonna select student. And then basically, I'm gonna give you a join code. Okay, so there's gonna be a join code specific to this class. The most important thing is that you're going to want to use your real first name, real last name, no nicknames, and then the email account of record for Go Formative has to be your six digit um, school provided email. If not, it's not going to tie into your Canvas Aries gradebook. You won't get credit for the assignments that you do. So it recognizes you and the pass back feature through that six digit ID. So that's what you want to make sure that you follow along. So the first thing uh, that you want to do is go to goformative.com and you're going to click this blue sign up button. And I'll give you a minute to get there.
Okay, so once you're there, and if you need me to go slower, just say something or send something through the chat, you're gonna click sign up. Once you click sign up, this is the next screen that you should have. Once you've gotten to that part, you're going to click on I'm a student and I'm going to put the join code up on the screen and I'm also going to send it to you in the chat room. So if you want to, you can copy and paste it from there. But the join code is specific to period six world history and it only have the people that we have in world history in the class. So I'm going to send this through the chat room and then I'll put it up on the screen. Okay, so the code is sent and I'll put it up on the screen here real quick. So it is the letter C as in cat, E as in Egypt, U as in the undertaker, Right, G as in great, Y as in yo-yo, T as in talking. So C E U G Y T Now once you're there, as I said, it's very important. Okay, you're gonna put in the join code and it's gonna ask you to create an account and join my class. So you'll create an account. If you already have an account with your school digit number, that's fine. If you don't, you have to use that or your grades are not gonna transfer correctly and you won't get credit for the work you do. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my school email. And then what happens is it's going to ask you for your real first name, so no nicknames, and your last name. And then when you click Let's Go, you should be in. Then, as I said, you'll have two things here. So we'll see and wait until you get there. If you have issues, let me know. You can send something through the chat or just speak up. And we'll get you to the same point. Um, okay. Okay, so Beto, it looks like you're in right. Tucker, it looks like you're in right. Jacob's in right. Ronnie, it looks like you're in right. Michael, you're in right. Lucas is in right. Natalie's in right. Eva, are you going back and using your um, school email? Okay, so Jasmine looks like you're in good. Mackenzie's in, Hector's in, Dario's in now. Looks like Eva's in right. Looks like you guys did it all perfectly. Let's see how many we've got here.
Perfect. That's awesome. You guys are better than my seniors. There wasn't one of you that made a mistake. Okay. So it looks like everybody's in. And the next thing uh, that we want you to be able to do, and I'm going to log out and then log back in as that student so you can see that. Uh, let's see, what did I use? There's just two things we need to do, and then we can go to the second part of today. Oops, I mistyped it, sorry. Okay, so you should see the same thing I see. Um, I signed up as a student. So there are two things, and then in Go Formative, uh, what I'll be able to do is put up short assignments, uh, resources, notes, vocabulary, number of different things to have at your disposal to help you. So the first thing I want you to do is click on uh, vocabulary days one through five and make sure that you're able to bring up these sheets here where it says vocab days one through five. Day five should have vocabulary written in there. So go ahead and check and make sure that you can open that. Okay. Anybody have a problem opening that? Okay, so the next thing I want you to do, and um, this is half of your assignment for today, basically, is I want you to go back and exit out of this up here in the upper left. And then I want you to click on week number one. So week number one assignment. Go ahead and hit open on that. And it's a simple question. I can see this assignment and vocabulary days one through five. Obviously, if you opened it, you can see it. You're going to click on yes. You're going to hit submit. You're going to confirm the submission. And then when you do that, your answer is going to show up. And because you logged in correctly, you're going to uh, have your points automatically transfer into the gradebook. So notice now when I go to period six, week one, view responses, okay? All of us are there, you can see mine are there. And you've got points for doing that. So go ahead and check and make sure that you can see that and make sure that you have submitted so that you get points for that. So you can see there, everybody has submitted. I think that we have 17 responses now. Uh, so one of the questions in the chat room was, was uh, any assignment we ever have will be on here? Um, some will be on here, uh, not all of them. Um, but it is a resource where we can store notes and things like that that you can use for the class. The second thing I'm about to show you in terms of Edmentum um, will be where some of your assignments will be as well, and then some will be through Canvas. So basically everything that we have done through this will be uh, in one of those four locations for the most part. I've got to add and update the uh, attendance real quick, just a second. Okay. Any questions on uh, the formative there in terms of what we did? Okay. So on your Canvas page, what I want you to do now is if you're in your student view, if you go back to your Canvas page, remember from the home page, what we did was uh, look at this tab here, learning modules, which took us to the presentation. All right, took us to the presentation. We went over Go Formative. 
Last thing we're going to do is Edmentum. I'm going to show you how to upload the assignment and you'll be set from there. So if you're still on this GoFormative uh, presentation here, all you have to do is click Next. It'll be the same process again. I will talk about what we're going to do with Edmentum, show you the entire process. All you have to do is watch and then we'll go step by step together. So go ahead and get to that presentation there. And we've got another question in the chat room. So a couple of things when we're going through, um, you know, whether it's problems logging in, whether you have to help a uh, younger brother or sister at home, something that's going on, um, I appreciate you apologizing, but don't worry, right? I'm pretty easy going. So we can catch you up. The other thing you want to realize is that I uh, have taken these, just like I had showed you on the YouTube channel, right? And you are able to, right? catch anything that you miss. Plus you can stay after when we finish. Um, I don't think that we'll ever go all 80 minutes, right? True without some sort of break in between to help you catch up or do an assignment together, what have you. So uh, don't worry about that, but I appreciate your uh, kindness in uh, that in terms of what's going on. So just one more second here. Uh, another question in the chat room is about textbooks, all right? So a couple of things. Um, if you have had very little issue in terms of navigating uh, Canvas, you haven't had any issues in terms of what we've done today, I don't think you will need a textbook. There will be nothing out of the textbook that I don't cover that's in uh, the notes I'll provide, the lectures I provide, the activities that we do. The textbook, for those of you who prefer something uh, in a physical format, instead of reading online, reading a book, there are parts of the textbook of this class that we cover. So if you want to get a textbook, I'm not gonna tell you no, but there is no reason, and you wouldn't miss any points at all during the class for not having a textbook, because everything you'll need I'll provide uh, in this uh, virtual sense and uh, send it out to you. So. It's completely up to you, but that's a great question in terms of do you need a textbook or not? Um, if you'd like to have a reading yeah. material or a source in hard copy, that would be okay. All right, any questions on that? Um, real quick, there was another question there, just to double check and um, be able to find uh, the slideshows. So a couple of things. Um, when you are in Canvas, let's go back to the home page. Uh, week one announcements, right? You go to modules and learning modules. So remember, as I said at the beginning, I will keep everything that we're going to do in a module that's combined with everything in a week. So this week one module is everything that we're going to have covered Monday and today in class, and that's what you'll use as a resource. So the first presentation, remember, for Go Formative was here in this slideshow. When you sign up for Formative, make sure that you use a real name, uh, first name, real last name, and it has to be your six-digit school-provided email. Um, for that. The second presentation, you can hit next to get to it from that module. This is your student view. Or if you're at the home page and you want to go back out, you can go to modules, scroll all the way down to week one module, click on presentation for Edmentum, and that should bring you there. So this is the presentation that you want to have up right now. I'll give you a minute to get that just in case you can't see it yet. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, does anybody have any questions or problems getting to that point? Okay, so this is gonna be uh, one of the last resources that we're gonna look at. As I said, just as we did with Go Formative, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the entire process uh, with you. So just watch, and then I'll show you how uh, to access this step by step. And then I'll show you how to do the assignment. You'll upload the assignment, I can check that and then you will be done uh, for the week. So a couple of things, uh, just as with everything else, the school website is a great resource to go and find this tab. You can also go to your, right, homepage on Canvas. This is the last of the tabs here that we're gonna cover, right? So Zoom link is our meeting link for class. Go formative, we had just gone over in terms of a resource for class. YouTube channel is where you can find the videos of each day's class period. Review that for your own. Uh, announcements, what's going on. Learning modules, actual assignments that you'll have to do. And then this Edmentum icon here. So in this Edmentum icon here, when you click on that, you're going to be asked to sign in with your SMJ UHSD account. The other thing that you want to be aware of is that with the school website, they also have that icon on their front page. So here's the uh, school website. This here is to access Canvas for yourself. This is the school email here. If you keep scrolling down, they have the same um, icon that I do on the Canvas page. So one or two different ways to access that, and you'll notice it'll be the same screen that comes up in terms of access. So ignore the right-hand side completely. You're going to log in with your SMJ UHSD account. You're going to select your SMJ UHSD account, or you're gonna fill that in. Now, one of the things that has happened over a period of time is that a number of people uh, have been getting an error message. So what happens is, is they'll select this and then it'll go right back to this page here. And so if that happens, hit Control, Shift, Delete. So Control, Shift, Delete, not Control, Alt, Delete. Control, Shift, Delete, and clear your cached data. Once you clear that data, it'll stop that runtime error from going over and over and over again. Take about 15 to 20 seconds. You can click out of settings. Then when you go here, click on this, right? That's what's gonna happen there if you have that error data. Once you clear that data, you can click on this. You'll get this sign in here that looks more familiar to you probably. You click on that and enter in, and then you're going to have a screen that looks very similar to what I have there. All right, so go ahead and try to get to that spot there. So there's a question in the chat room again about that error message about clicking on that, and it just goes right back. Remember, it's control. Shift, delete, control, shift, delete. You're gonna clear your cache data, control, shift, delete. And I cleared it right now, so there is none, but I'll put that in the chat room.
Okay, is, is anybody not able to get to uh, that page that's gonna look like this? Is there anybody here that has not been able to get to a page that looks like this? Yours will look a little bit different. You'll probably have my page and maybe a couple of others. You may not have as many applications down here, but you should have something that looks like that. Is there anybody that can't get there? It's, it's not letting me log in. It's not letting you what? It's not letting me log in. Like when I press to like sign in, it just uh -huh. going back to the login page. Okay, so take the control key, the shift key, and the delete key and hit that at the same time. That's what I tried. It didn't work. And it doesn't work? Okay, so I'm going to make you a co-host. I want you to share your screen with me in a second. Okay, so in just a second, your screen should pop up and I'll see what's going on. So down at the bottom of your Zoom window, Jazz, there should be a green button that says share screen. Go ahead and click on that. Okay, so um, close out of both of those boxes. Okay, click, uh, close out of the clock. Okay, the other one. Now um, click on the Edmentum uh, icon again. Okay, and then click on the login again with that. Let me see what happens. Okay, so uh, your control key's in the bottom left, right? So hit control, hold that down, hit shift, keep holding both of the buttons down, and then hit delete and keep holding all three buttons down at the same time and then let up. Perfect. Clear data. Okay, you can close out of the settings tab. You can close the settings tab, upper right, where it says settings and then there's an X. Keep, there you go. Now click back on the Clever Login tab. Now click the Login SMJ again. Click it one more time. Okay, hit next. Uh, oof, hold on just a second, let me see. Uh, click on the, click on the upper one. Okay, so exit out of that entire screen. Well, they screwed you on that one. So go ahead and exit out of that tab. Okay. Um, go back to uh, the Canvas page. Click on the Edmentum one. Click on Login. And then choose the one you created. Go ahead and select next.
No, pers do the personal one. No, choose the choose the personal one instead of the work one when it asks you for that. Wait. Personal account. Okay, stop there. Put in, um, erase that part right there. Go ahead and erase all of that. Okay, and then do uh, 805, do the school number, 805-937-2051. Okay, so I'm gonna have to. I'll have to contact. I'll have to contact the district. Something's wrong with your account. So you can watch. You can watch this. Watch this process, and I'll find out exactly what they need you to do for that. <laughs> Okay, so from there, what we're gonna have you do in this process is once you have logged into Clever, you're gonna click on Edmentum. If you're already logged into your account, it should work for you. Let me get to a screen that's gonna look like yours because yours won't look like this. Yours will look somewhat familiar to this. Um, you will have um, basically a box that comes up, you can exit out of that, but basically you're gonna have classes here and one of them should be Grok World History Period 6. Now, you're going to have, and let me draw this on here for you. You're gonna have a, a play button here that says next activity or new activity. You're also gonna have a box down here that says all activities. Okay, and you can click either one of those. What we want you to be able to get to is uh, the ability to bring up your curriculum. And you can do that by hitting the play button for next activity or all activities. And basically you'll have this that comes up. So go ahead and try to get to that point. Okay, so Tucker, same thing. Down in the bottom, in the middle, should say share screen. So you can share your screen with me. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yep, you're in the right spot. Go ahead and click on the black E with the rainbowish middle. That one right there. Okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah. And so then this is going to come up and you can see mine is the first one. So you can click on select new activity 
our all activities. And then everybody's screen should look like that except for mine. So go ahead and click on that and you'll be set. Anybody else unable to get to that point? Perfect, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so from that point, um, basically what there is, is there's an orientation page. Um, and the orientation page is about 10 minutes worth of uh, three videos, I believe. Um, and I'm gonna show you what that is. So basically the same thing that Tucker just showed us, I clicked on this, the Plato Student Orientation, and this is what comes up. There's gonna be a getting started video. Your online course. Let me show you around. In this video, you'll learn how to find the lessons, activities, and tests you'll need to complete your courses. There you go. Okay. The second video is what's in a typical lesson, what you'll do in a lesson. Again, in this video, we'll take a peek at a sample course to show you how the learning experience unfolds. Our main stop, the tutorial. Essential activity of any. All right. And then lastly, uh, some keys to success in terms of staying on path, communicating with me, how to submit things, which I'll show you how to do. If you're watching this, you want so you'll want to check that out. But what you're going to do to finish the rest of the week assignment is you're going to download this and upload it to Canvas to show me that you can get to that point because this is how you're gonna access some of the assignments when we're not meeting in class via Zoom. In the upper right-hand corner, you should have a save button or a printer button. And you're gonna click on that download or save button. And you're gonna save this PDF. You're gonna save this PDF to a location that you can find it. So um, if you have a folder for this class, that may be a good spot for it. If you wanted to do it to the desktop, and then move it later, that's fine. I always put everything in, that I'm downloading into this download location. I'm gonna name this six for period six, and I'm gonna hit save. Now, once I hit save, what I can do is I can go back to the Canvas course, and once again, there are always two or three different ways of accessing things that you need to do. The assignment that's due by next Monday is this login, proving that you can log in. So you can click this and get to that location. From the home page, you can click on modules and get to that location, right? Here it is, individual assignments and logins. Or from the home page or the left-hand side set of tabs, you can click on assignments. You can click on this assignment. Right, and basically what's gonna have is a blue submit button in the upper right hand corner. So let me exit out of all of these because it does not like when that happens. Go to student view, I'll go to assignments. There's a blue submit button, upper right. You're gonna click on submit. Once you do that, you can see you can come down here, go file upload or text entry. You can do file upload, choose a file. Go to my downloads where I saved it, click on that file and submit assignment. You could also use text entry. Go to the document upload, which is right here. Upload a document, similar to what we did the other day. There's my document uploaded. I can hit submit and it can come in that way too, right? So you're going to take this video. You can right click and save as. Just remember the location. You can click the download button. Some of you are gonna have a save button if it's a tablet and you're gonna submit uh, that assignment. You're gonna submit that assignment. And I'll tell you as it comes in, if you're able to do that. Jasmine, can you send me your um, ID number through the private chat? And I'll send that to the district. 
ask them to ask what's going on. Because I checked the uh, I checked the Edmentum, and you're able to see I'm able to see your ID number correctly. I just want to make sure that they have the right one. And then also, it has to be correct, or you wouldn't even be able to get into Canvas. So I want to ask them what's going on. Yeah, they match. Okay, so right now, I'll tell you who we can see and who we can't. Okay, so Hector, yours is showing up, yours is set. Dario, yours shows up. Tucker, yours shows up. Colin, yours shows up. Jacob, yours is showing up. Okay, Maritza, you uploaded the wrong PDF, but you still know the process, so that's good. So that's fine. Daniel, yours showed up. Lucas, I need you to upload the PDF, the Play-Doh PDF. Okay. So um, a couple of things. Um, if I said yours showed up and you uploaded the right one, you're set. Um, if you have any questions, you can check in with me on Monday. But if you've uploaded that, that was the assignment um, that we did, all right? Uh, for the week. So you're going to be set. You don't need to uh, do anything unless you want to check in or need to check in with me on Monday. Um, and then we'll talk to you guys next Thursday. Uh, one question in the chat room. Uh, I downloaded the PDF. Where do I upload it to? So let me go over. Um, hold on, let me minimize the chat real quick. So if you're set and you've done it, you're okay. We'll see you next Thursday. If you need help, you can stay on. Okay, so a couple of things. Um, you downloaded the PDF. To download the PDF, I'm just gonna start from the beginning because there was one question about the beginning. Oops, sorry, wrong button. Okay, so went to period six. I'm gonna to go to curriculum. Yours is a little bit different. Remember, you're gonna select next activity, new activity, or all activities. Plato student orientation. And then up here in the upper right, you should have a save button or a download button. Either one is gonna do the same thing. When you click on that, it's gonna ask you to save this file, this PDF, 
and then you can put that anywhere you want. So you can put it on your desktop and move it later. If you have a Canvas folder for world history, you can do that there. You just need to make sure that you remember where you put it. Because once you uh, save it, then in your student view, this is how you upload the PDF after you save it. That was the next question in the chat. You're gonna select Submit Assignment. In the upper right, it's a button. Then you'll scroll down and you're gonna select Choose File. From Choose File, all you have to do is go to where you save that at. So I saved mine in Canvas, World History, Plato Student Orientation. Select Open, select Submit, and it should be submitted. Okay, should be submitted. Okay, so Hope, yours is showing up right now. Hector, I think I already told you yours showed up. Dario, yours showed up. Eva, yours showed up. Tucker's good. Colin's good. Jacob, Maritza, you were good. Uh, Ronnie, I think yours is coming up. Take just a second to load. Yep, Ronnie, yours is good. Adrian, yours came up just fine. Daniel, yours came up just fine. Lucas, are you still uploading yours? Yes, if you uploaded and I said you're good to go, you're, you're excused. Uh, somebody asked in the chat room about the student view. The student view is, is my view, not the teacher view. So it's the same thing that you should see. So you should be able to click on the assignment to the right. Okay, so in the middle of your screen, Beto, click on, middle of your Zoom screen, click on uh, share screen so I can see where you're at. Okay, perfect. So click on that black E that has a rainbow across the middle of it. Perfect, you logged in correctly. Now select uh, next activity under my class where it says Grok period six, go up. That, yep, that's my class, there you go. There you go, now click on uh, Plato student orientation after you X out of that box. Click on play. There you go. In the upper right hand corner, you have the same download one that I do. Um, just put it where you can see it. Okay, you're going to save it in documents is fine. Now click on your uh, canvas tab where it says presentations at Mentum. Go to assignments on the left hand side. Go to the uh, last assignment down. Click on Submit New Assignment. Click on Choose File. Go to Documents where you saved it. Awesome. Yep, that Plato Student Orientation on the bottom. Click on Open. Click on Submit. 
That's how you do it, my friend. You're set. You did it. Sweet. Sweet. You have mine now. Did what? Uh, do you have mine? It's Lucas. Uh, I can. Hold on just a second. All right. Beto, you're good.